a very good morning to one more present here as a part of lecture series 5 uh, today we were discussing about the uh, penetration pricing and uh, we shall have a small recap on what is skimming pricing and uh, uh, in the unit 4 we were discussing about the various uh, types of price types or methods of pricing of products and uh, we have come across what is pricing of products and why pricing of products is important and uh, without the pricing the market uh, uh, without pricing the product cannot be launched into the market and um, we shall have some uh, uh, we shall also consider the geographical differences and uh, the uh, the reach the logistics and transportation and the availability and from the warehouse or the uh, from where the product manufactured has been sent to the market so these all the factors will also be considered uh, before uh, fixing the prices and generally what type of pricing is uh, uh, we will fix we basically we fix cost plus pricing so we come across what is cost and what is pricing and what is margin of percentage we fix on generally what is the expected percentage uh, uh, will be fixed on pricing and what is competition pricing and what is uh, uh, penetrate uh, skimming pricing this is all what we uh, had a, uh, had a possibility of seeing in the previous classes and today we will discuss about the penetration pricing so what is penetration so we have seen the skimming pricing we, penetration pricing is just opposite of the skimming pricing in skimming uh, initially the cost uh, the, the prices of the products offering in the shop, uh, shops or uh, uh, shop is high and then gradually they will reduce the price here in penetration pricing uh, we'll have very less uh, uh, price uh, when it is compared to other retail outlets and gradually the price of the product will be improvised so skimming which denotes high price in the beginning and gradually it lowers down whereas the penetration has low price in the uh, beginning and it will increase the uh, price of the product later on okay so the this graph denotes the uh, gradual increase in the price uh, when it is compared to the existing price uh, see the now here the graph is just upside down see the we we have uh, two pricing that is p1 and p2 here quantity q1 and q2 for example if we see q1 uh, the price is initially uh, for both the q1 and q2 the price is initially uh, less and when it is compared to the uh, and next next we if you see uh, here the uh, we are comparing the uh, p2 is the initial price and p1 is the uh, next uh, phase of pricing so for both q1 and q2 the p2 is like penetration price is very less and gradually they are increasing for increasing the price that is called p1 okay uh, so the charging a lower price that is p2 from the start to quickly sell the highest higher quantities of q2 to reach q2 uh, here the b denotes the some revenues may be forgotten for example what type of products or what type of outlets will set up this uh, pricing initially we call it as like uh, hypermarkets uh, see for example if you take a lulu initially the prices uh, introduced in the lulu hypermarket was very cheaper and very lower and when it is compared to other retail outlets and the people immediately rushed when it is uh, opened and people were uh, uh, buying the buy, uh, buy uh, people purchase the product more than the estimate like uh, uh, suppose if i uh, if i went for a shopping and i was aiming to purchase only for 5000 but due to the availability of less price and concern with the future i have purchased more uh, more uh, than that what i have uh, expected to spend and uh, now and uh, and later on when we uh, with the expectation of the lower prices when we enter into the market um, and again to the lulu market now the prices are equal or it is slightly higher than what is uh, available in the retail outlets so we cannot uh, have the same expectations and uh, to move into the market to get the products at the cheaper rate and again this uh, this state of mind is confused when they uh, gave a offer in the period of the uh, for example like pongal days celebrative days so immediately uh, they'll offer some 50% discount 40% discount so uh, 
uh, again the customers the pulling of customers is possible and uh, again so this strategy is been widely followed in the hypermarkets so we can compare the hypermarkets um, uh, and even the spa when they opened in brookfields the similar type of uh, customers and similar type of uh, purchasing purchasing was seen and now the lulu has overtaken all this and uh, they have taken a beyond so this is the good very good example of penetration pricing i thought like i could give the real time example uh, not to and generally when we take, uh, talk about the penetration pricing we shall we shall remember reliance jio where they offered 500 rupees mobile phone to the uh, ordinary people even uh, the people who does not even think about the mobile phone were uh, started using by purchasing the mobile phones and they offered free sim cards and uh, they even they offered uh, uh, free uh, 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 calls or messages uh, for a wide number of days for example like 60 days or 90 days and uh, unlimited uh, internet usage with high speed and uh, all this are example gradually they uh, started uh, pricing uh, started uh, charging and now they are equally uh, charging uh, uh, the as compared to the airtel so this is the like uh, skimming if we have skimming and uh, penetration pricing what is how the price increases or price reduces with reference to the quantity as well as the quality of the product so generally we aim for we fix higher prices when the quality is very high so that people won't think about the purchasing the product uh, when penetration pricing even if we offer uh, at lower price people may not think about the branding or luxuriousness uh, so they will use the opportunity to buy the product if, if the price is less so to summarize uh, we will just discuss about the pros and cons so what is uh, penetration pricing here the market is penetrating market is blooming market is increasing the share market share is increasing and uh, at the same time the profit is limited we cannot expect too much of profits here in the customer acquisition we easily attract the customers and here the we have the less perceived value but the value chain is very less and uh, the competitive advantage is very high so for example if my product i am launching i am believing blindly believing that this is the competitive advantage where my prices is lower than of in, in uh, anybody which is available in the market but even the price was uh, like i said like initial and uh, peak days when I mean, we compare the price war as also a, a negative impact which will create on the penetration pricing and quickly we move on the assessment and what is penetration pricing strategy is followed us uh, we know it is when compared